Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make Rubik's Cube mosaics using the website mosaic.twisttheweb.com. So I have here the screen showing mosaic.twisttheweb.com and on another tab I have pulled up a Google search for Arizona Cardinals logo. The first thing I need to do is find a picture that I want to use. And the best type of picture to use is going to have very distinct colors. Um, this one will not work because it's got too much kind of faded and blended things. I could also use a line drawing like this, a black and white one, and then knowing the colors kind of fill it in myself later. But I think just this basic bird head here is gonna work well. So very easily I can do a, a click on it and I'm just going to save the image as Cardinal onto my desktop. I just find that's the easiest way for me. You might have a different way that works well for you. Going back to mosaic.twisttheweb.com, I just drop the picture of the cardinal onto that little screen. The next step is to tell the program how many cubes I have. And in this little box here, it defaults always to a thousand, or after you put in a number, if you choose to change your image, it defaults to whatever your last number was. So let's say I have a good 500 cubes. It will automatically ca calculate how many cubes the resulting mosaic will be. Here it's 483 cubes. And then setting the stickered colors. If you're using standard Rubik's brand cubes, these are pretty close to the actual sticker colors that come on the cubes. If you have something um, different or you've set up your own custom cubes or whatever, you can also change the colors there by hovering on the color and then choosing which one it fits in the color palette. Then you just click on the arrow here to advance it and magically it converts it into a mosaic for you. The next step here is to, and I'm gonna actually make my screen full screen so I've got more room to see, is this slider here changes the color threshold. So if you'll notice here on number five, we've got a lot of patterning in the cardinal head. He's red and orange. If I slide the color threshold deeper here, it'll change him to a solid red. So you can kind of mess around and see what works best for you. Some people like this kind of, you know, checkerboard look. It's kind of cool. But if you want to go for what the cardinal really looks like, I would probably go for a solid red. You'll also notice there are, is no black on a Rubik's Cube, and green is usually the default for black. So get it about as good as you'd like it, and sometimes it doesn't do much changing. So I'm gonna go for this 85. You'll also notice there are little stray pixels here, blue, orange, that's pretty much it, <laughs> blue and orange. When I solve this, the cubes to make this mosaic, I will have the kids change that to a green tile. Just because the pattern says to use blue and orange there, it's just kind of a little glitch in the image. I don't think it really enhances it to have these extra little blue and orange pieces. Up to you, but generally I would smooth that out and actually make those all green tiles. The next page here, you tell it how you do you want the document to print. So I like for my kids, I do blocks of three by three because the blocks actually end up printing about the size of a Rubik's cube, which allows you to place the cube on the square of the piece of paper. But if you wanna save paper, you can go up to seven by seven. So I'm gonna choose this three by three. You can also give your mosaic a title. Take the arrow. And then, ta-da, it's a PDF. And the first page of the PDF has the master plan here. And then there are 57 more pages. Remember, I'm dealing with 500 cubes in three by three blocks, or not three by three, nine blocks. So this shows me A1 will be this first corner here. And there are nine cubes, and this is what each cube looks like. And like I said, I would change this to be green when solving it. So you can adjust that as you'd like. And so this shows you exactly where. The letters go across the columns. The numbers show where it is in rows. So there, you'll see now I'm at A2. A being the first column, two being across. Um, you can go to the top and you can download it or print it. 